good morning students welcome to digital design lab 3 video tutorial today we are going to learn about 4 bit parallel adder and bcd adder the chip which we are going to use is 74283 it's a ttl uh, based chip digital chip we, there are 16 pins okay uh, and we pin number 16 is vcc and pin number 8 is ground so it can take uh, two 4 bit inputs okay so the first uh, set of input will be a1 a2 a3 and a4 okay and they are at pin numbers and you know, 5 3 14 and 12 right okay so this is the first 4 bit uh, input and it can also take carry in okay uh, carry in here it's on pin number 7 it is written c0 c0 indicates carry in okay the second 4 bit uh, uh, input which it can take is b1 b2 b3 and b4 okay uh, so it can uh, it can add these two it will add these two bits along with c0 and give a output at sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma 4 and also the carry out will be available at pin number 9 which is here it is written as c4 okay uh, so the common mistake what uh, uh, many of us do during the hardware implementation is the uh, msb and lsp okay a1 is lsb and uh, a2 then a3 a4 is the msp similarly b1 is the lsp and uh, b4 is the msb right so here also the least significant uh, on the output is going to be sigma 1 and the most significant output will be sigma 4 and the carry out will be 9 so if you mix up this you will not get the uh, correct uh, uh, expected results okay so uh, internally uh, this is the gate which is there okay it is an 4 bit uh, binary full adder with fast carry okay it's not a ripple carry adder so these adder topologies we will study in our theory classes but time being just remember it is a, a fast carry topology which we are going to use okay so i am going to do a uh, show you a demo after this presentation i'm going to show you a de demo with this chip okay in the lt spice okay uh, what when we take the symbol for 74283 it would be something like this okay so a1 a2 a3 a4 they are the inputs again remember a1 is the least significant bit and a4 is the is the msb similarly b1 b2 b3 b4 and here it is ci that is the carry in and c0 is the carry out so s1 s2 s3 s4 are the sum outputs so this is the symbol which we are going to get when we are going to use uh, lt spice so to uh, to test this chip what i am going to do is i am going to give uh, four test vectors okay for a1 a2 a3 and a4 and i am going to give the same values for b1 b2 b3 b4 see a1 a2 a3 a4 a1 a2 so i am going to add the same uh, values here okay you can give different values also but just uh, my purpose is just to demonstrate how this works so i have given the same inputs and a and b so if you see uh, a i have given as uh, 1 micro t on and, and time period as 2 micro similarly this is uh, 4 micro time period this is 8 micro time period and 16 micro uh, time period so if i run the transition for 16 micro i will get all combinations of <coughs> excuse me of these four signals right so uh, i am going to get initially 0 0 so the output should be 0 then i am going to get 1 so 1 and 1 because i am giving the same inputs i should get output as 2 then then i will get 4 8 like this so i am just testing some test vectors okay if you want to do an, an a full test then you can give another four different uh, set of signal set b1 b2 b3 b4 and another set of signal at uh, uh, ci also so uh, you will require 512 different uh, pulses because you uh, know there are uh, all these so you'll have to run for that much time and you can do you can do that also no harm in that i'm just telling you i am going to do this and just uh, to verify the functioning of this uh, chip okay i'll i'll show the demo of this what okay this is what you got to do you are going to make you are going to use this chip and you are going to make adder subtractor okay this has been discussed in the class right so uh, how we do uh, adder subtractor okay uh, by using an xor gates as a control gates right so if i give m0 carry no, c0 uh, carry in 
from the previous stage okay and that will be uh, zero and this will all the xor gates will pass the uh, b bit data so it will just add a and b and it will give the sum and the carry so in case i put m equal to 1 then it is going to these xor gates are going to invert b and also carry in i am going to give 1 so if i give carry in 1 and in it is equivalent to giving b complement right i am inverting b and giving adding 1 also from the carry inside so this will become a minus b so i should get a, a minus b output out here right but i said in the theory class also we discussed that there will be overflow conditions like right there will be some outputs because this is a 4 bit output 4 bit uh, data right it can maximum uh, read from in the two's complement form from plus 7 to minus 8 but suppose uh, there will be uh, sometimes if the, if the result is more than plus 7 or if you so suppose you are adding 4 and 4 then this uh, overflow flag should come high right and how to get this overflow flag by taking an xor of you know, the input and output of the last full adder okay unfortunately in this chip this output is not available for us right we only have c so whenever there is an overflow condition whenever you are doing say if you are going to uh, in this adder if you are going to give plus 4 and plus 4 the output result will be erroneous and you will not come to know because you cannot tap overflow signal also okay so uh, this is what uh, we are going to try and verify we know how the two's complement looks it is 0 0 0 till 7 and then these are the complement so it will start with minus 8 and then it will go up to minus 1 this is how a two's complement and thing will look like right so i am going to give the same uh, pulse right for 2 micro 4 micro 8 micro and 16 micro so it will sequentially generate this from 0 to minus 1 here and in the b i am going to give constant value of 4 how do you give how do i give constant value of 4 i am going to give b10 and i am going to give uh, b20 d3 i have to give you know, logical one that is i got to give 5 volt dc at b3 okay please don't give 1 volt dc because 1 volt also will be picked up as 0 by the ic so you got to give for b you got to select at b3 you got to give 5 volt dc and do the simulations obviously your results will all match except for these four conditions where the output is more than right it, it, it is going to be more than an, uh, 7 where, wherever there is an, uh, more than plus 7 for these conditions okay it is actual you will you will you'll not get the sum intended sum because you know, this over there will be an overflow in that so, similar then in the next uh, run what you are going to do is you are going to uh, set m as 1 now it is going to subtract these two values okay now note down all this uh, what are the sum which you are getting obviously again whenever the output is supposed to be more than minus 8 it will not match okay so it is it is an overflow conditions which unfortunately we are not able to detect in this particular ic okay so what do we do uh, so uh, in uh, there are other ic's also available 74181 which will give uh, with which we can generate that overflow flag but that is presently not part of this particular lab exercise so we will neglect that okay we will just do it with 74283 and leave it at that we you just have to verify these two tables okay your task is going to be to verify these two outputs what is the output you are going to get okay now the last part which what you are going to do is also a bcd adder this again this schematic has been discussed in the theory class i am going to add a and and, and b okay both are going to be 0 to 9 also because it is bcd uh, inputs you are going to give so in bcd input what is the thing if you get a carry or in case the output is more than 9 there are two conditions in case you get a carry or if the output is more than 9 so if you see uh, z1 and z3 and and z2 and z3 and and you take an or of that and or of this okay the carry output and in, for these three condi uh, these two conditions okay this will give that those two conditions when there is a carry or when the output is there you got to add six so i am putting one more adder taking this this output from here and i am going to add six how is it adding six if you see 
zero is given at zero and eight. For four and two, I am giving this output, this carry output. So automatically, whenever this carry is going high, okay, whatever is the previous, uh, whatever is the bit uh, four bit data which is coming from the previous edition, you will add another six to it, okay. And if there is no uh, carry out or it is less than nine, then you are going to add a zero. So again, still you will get the correct answer. Okay. So the final answer will be this four plus not the carry from this stage. Okay. This is the mistake again. Most of you do in your exams. It is not the carry from here. It is the carry. This carry is the BCD carry output. Okay. So now you got to uh, implement and do a test run. Okay. For the test run, you you, you need to give only you know, 0 to 9 inputs. Okay. So you can use the same you know, pulse train and you can stop the simulation at 9 micro. Okay. So it will generate. So here also uh, for this simulation also, you can give uh, the same uh, a, a and B. Okay. So it will be sum is equal to 0, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8. Right. And from here onwards, it will be carry, right? It will be carry one and sum one, 11. Carry one and two here, carry one and four here, carry one and six here, carry one and eight here. So just see, so some set of, if you want, you can give various uh, other combinations also, but I am just giving you an example of, no, I'm just giving you one set of test vectors, at least this one set of test vectors, you should be able to verify, right? Now I'm going to show you the demonstration. You are all uh, familiar with this uh, schematic uh, of LT spice. So I have already drawn, uh, taken it from the previous experiment, all these sources. So let me just uh, collect 74283. This is 74283. Okay. So I picked up 74283. I'm going to place it here. It's got pasted multiple times. So let me just delete one of them. Okay. So uh, this is so uh, if you see. Uh, the uh, I have given an A1, A1, A2, A2, A3, A4. I have given the same input combinations at for A and and B and C. I have grounded it here, right? So these pulses are two uh, time period is two micro, four micro, eight micro, and sixteen micro. Every schematic I got to include this include seven four H library file and this this we know uh, how to set the uh, stop time sixteen micro. Okay, I am going to uh, run this. Oh, yes. Okay. So uh, I have run this. Let me plot. I'm going to plot S1, S2, S3, S4, and uh, C out. Okay. What's happened to S3, S2, S1? Right, C0, S4, S3, S, I need S2 also, S2 is also there and S1 is also there, okay. So let me expand this, now right click, add plot plane, add plot plane, add plot plane, right click, add so I have five of these things available. So MSP will be C0 and then S4. This is the you know, MSB is going to be S4, right? So I, I'm putting it in that order, right? Then I'm going to drag this. So initially it is zero, then it is two because I'm, I'm giving the same input. Okay, one plus one is two, then uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, this is 4, right? So, and then it is 6, and then it is 8, then it is uh, uh, 10. So, it, it's going on like this. So, you're getting the uh, correct uh, output, desired output, okay? I can, what I can also do is do one more test condition. I remove this. I go to the uh, voltage source. Okay. Okay. I am going to put a voltage source here. I am going to put ground here, right? Escape, and I am going to give a five volt. Okay, not one volt. I keep repeating this because, you know, in spite of so many instructions, we still keep doing. So now I have given one here, say, right? So I am going to 
uh, run it okay yes okay no uh, there's some floating nodes okay that is because uh, see something additional has got pasted here so let me remove that okay okay uh, after putting one volt here i am going to run it and see the waveform so this is the waveform now i am giving a0 b0 and i am going to give i am giving c as 1 so you will fit the output is 1 in the next it is a and 1 and b uh, a is 1 and b is 1 but c is also 1 so the output should be 3 so you see it is 3 here right similarly then you are giving 2 2 then it will be 5 so, so this is 5 right so you can verify this for this combinations also okay so uh, that's all uh, for today now what you, you are going to uh, do is an adder subtractor and for adder subtractor i told you for b okay here you put a ground here you put a ground here you put a ground out here at, at, at this location you are going to uh, put you know, plus 5 volt right and then you include a set of xor gates and then have a control signal m and do the adder subtraction and and once you have done with that please do the uh, bcd uh, exercise also and then you can get it evaluated in the next class in case any of you have got any problems you can get in touch with me um, on my mobile or through you know, mail okay